So today we're back with another video. <laughs> um, and this time we're gonna talk about this shitty ass Nigerian restaurant that we went to in Toronto with our sister, with me, Renell, our sister, and her friend. For her birthday, her friend. Yeah, for her birthday. Like it was just a little birthday dinner that we were supposed to do, but that should turn into a disaster real quick. So anyways, so, so let's start it off. So, we, so we met up with me, Renelle, and Lou, our older sister. We met up with Lou's friend at this restaurant in Scarborough on the Danforth called Anyways, so we went to their restaurant and we were there. It was good, like the vibes were not that bad. Like they were playing music and stuff like that. There was a few people it was cold in there. Yeah, it was cold. For sure, it was cold. But there was a few people in there. There's probably only like three tables and some boots, like some chairs. And the tables are squinchy. Yeah, and they were small. They could only fit like four people. But anyways, so we like went there and we were just waiting for Lou's friend to get there. And so we were just waiting, chilling, you know, talking, whatever. And when we got there, actually, when we were walking to that restaurant, another restaurant that we like called G Spot, which we right did a vlog, it. yeah, which we did a vlog for it a few like a while back, was right beside it, like a few doors down. So, anyways, so we went into the restaurant and we were just in there chilling you know just looking at the menu like the girl the waiter girl she didn't look like she really wanted to help us too much attitude too much attitude for no reason she didn't even ask us her name we didn't even ask her her name yeah like attitude for no reason and they have like those instead of having like paper um, menus they have like the digital one where you have to scan the barcode crap so we're like doing that and we're like looking on the menu um Lou's friend came, we were all like looking on the menu for something to eat. Most of the stuff that we asked for, they didn't have. Let me say something again to so before. We, the another thing is that we were trying to try another, like a different type of restaurant that we yes. never been to before. And something this was a new. Bad experience too. Terrible experience, especially uh, for it being a Nigerian place. It was super bad. Like, the experience was terrible. Not saying that Nigerian people are bad, but. Yeah, not um, saying all of the Nigerian restaurants are bad. Yeah. But, this one but that bad. one in particular, trash. The menu, we were asking, we asked the lady, the first thing we asked her, plantain. We don't have that. We ran out earlier. So, why is it on the menu? So then we're like, okay, so like, what do you guys have? Like, do you guys have it? Like, what do you guys have? So we asked them for, um, I think jollof rice. She was telling Renelle, oh, you could get like jollof rice with um, chicken, like barbecue chicken. So we're like, okay, so can we get the jollof rice? We don't have that. Large curry goat. We're not off that. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, I'm just gonna go with a a large oxtail. Then. We'll not. Harold, give me a large oxtail. We not have that. We not have that. Okay, I'm just gonna do. Like, so why are you offering it to us if you don't have it, bitch? Why is it on the menu? Yeah, why is it on the menu? Like, come on, take the stuff off the menu if it's not on there. Like, if it's not, if you don't have it in the restaurant. So, anyways, so we just ordered our little stuff. Like, Lou's a vegetarian, so she ordered her stuff. I think it was like pounded. No, it was fried yam with like those greens kind of like kind of like kalaloo like green um greens like you know what i'm talking about <laughs> like a stew kind of like a stew Yeah, like a vegetarian thing. And what else did she have? And then she had like um, steamed vegetables. We, we, we gonna get into that. And then Renelle ordered fried rice with barbecue chicken. chicken. And then I ordered barbecue chicken, fried yams, and steamed vegetables. And I, yeah, I think that's, I think that's all I ordered. I might have ordered something else, but I don't really remember. What's that, what's that thing then, that you guys got? That's like, what's, what was that one? The one that fried was yams. Oh, okay. And then our sister's friend got fried yams and then she got um, suya and she got fried fish or something like that. But 
So, the yeah. Her food and Blue's food came first. Yeah, our foods came first. Okay, first, that's not even the bad thing. So, we got there. So, it was like us. And then there's another table that had like two yeah. guys. And then there's another table behind the two guys that had like a group of guys. So, when we got there, so the guys in the in the middle table they were done they left or whatever and then we were sitting there and we ordered our we we ordered our stuff but in another group of people that looked like they were family to the people who run the restaurant came in how did those people get their food before we got our food and then the lady told that came in the girl told us oh the girl who was wait um serving us our food she came and told us, oh, you guys have to wait an like another 30 minutes to 45 minutes. What? Yeah, and then we asked her about water too. We're like, could we get water? This girl bought us gray water. That like had, gray. She <laughs> that had, what was it? Oh, residue, 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 residue on this. Okay, so she brought us a, like a jar, like a little jar, a glass jar, see-through jar of water. And the water was gray. We're like, why is the water gray? Like water's supposed to be clear, especially if it's cold water. Like why is the water gray? It should be a so tilt, it was yeah, gray. we were tilt. We tilted it. It was gray residue or white residue around the glass, and then inside of the water there was white particles floating around the water. Mm -hmm. We're like, what? We're not drinking that. So then when we left, we went to we went. Me and her went to go see what's at G Spot. We want to go there, low key, but we stayed at this restaurant just to see how it was. Still, even though they gave us that dirty water, and then we didn't drink it though. We just left it there. And then my sister and her friend were like, "Why is this water great to her?" Yeah, to the girl. And she said, and oh, she we said, mixed it with warm water." Yeah, she said that they mixed their cold water and what? their their warm water and hot water together. <laughs> Who does that? And then you serve it for people to drink. You trying to get people sick? Who does that? Like. I just, I'm just surprised that she really came and brought that water to our table. The water was gray. Like it was gray from the bottom to the top and then it started clearing up at the bottom but then the top was still gray. She didn't look like she wanted to help like, us from since we got into that restaurant. She didn't even know Girl, notice. come take this water back. <laughs> <laughs> like what, are, what is wrong with you? Girl. Bitch, come get this water. Because like, what is this? What is this? Uh-huh. So they asked her for a bottle of water now because that water was dirty. Yeah. They're like, uh -uh, yeah. take this back. They, mm -mm, nobody drinking that, dog. Yeah, so she brought us like two bottles of water. And then, so, so we put in our order and everything. She told us, yeah, it's going to take 30 to 45 minutes. So we're there waiting, you know, we're having a conversation, whatever. We let the, the water thing slide because we're like, okay. We whatever. got our water bottles too, yeah. so we're just like, we're leaving that there. Yeah, she brought us ginger ale and water bottles, so we're like, okay, whatever, we'll let that slide. So, yeah, Rene like Renelle said, they brought us they brought us our food, me and Lou's food, they brought first. And then later on, like a little bit later, they brought out Renelle and our sister's food. Mm -hmm. But before, they brought out my food and my um, Lou's friend's food for, I mean, after. Before, our food. So when they brought out um, Lou's food uh -huh. and his food, first they were tasting their food to see how the food was and their food was cold yeah it was cold so it was cold like the first of all they didn't bring chicken they didn't bring barbecue chicken they brought barbecue wings okay i'm gonna show a picture they brought barbecue wings the um steamed vegetables were vegetables that you buy from the grocery store they're vegetables that you put in your um lasagna like those big chunks of sliced vegetables they didn't put no frozen work. vegetables they barely put any work into the fruit their, they, into the, her food and our other sister's food they, they did not put no work into them the food. they did not <laughs> and then so they were like to, to her and we were complaining like our food is cold cold could you warm it up or yeah like, hey. they brought out so the so we, she had to take it back yeah we no we come no food. so we complained to the the Rangers. girl who was wait like serving us the food mm -hmm. and then we were talking about how the food was cold and i think she didn't she get the did she get the asian lady and the asian lady took it back or did she, she take it back i think the asian lady as she started no, the no, no, asian, no, we complained to the asian lady i think we, we complained to her about the food about your food your guys food. either one of the two whatever but yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 we complained to the asian, asian lady, lady. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah i think we complained to the yeah asian when lady. the asian lady brought out you and 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 lose friends food mm -hmm. we complained to the asian lady we were complaining to the waitress about the water i think yeah yeah so we complained to the asian lady and we told her that the food was cold so she said she's gonna take it back or whatever would warm up where warm up cold. where the food was still cold could they brought out the food the still food was still, still cold. cold so then after then when they brought out their food the second time and it was still cold that's when they brought out my food and our friends or my sister's friend's food and our food was good my food and her food my sister's friend's food was good so we were trying to each other and then althea and 
and Lou were still kind of disappointed with their food because their food was cold and me and Lou's friend were enjoying our food yeah and so we complained to the we so we complained we called over the girl who was serving us the food and we told her and then she, we were like if we like if the food is cold and we don't want the food can we get our money back she said oh i'm gonna have to ask i'm gonna have to ask the cook mm-hmm. and then we're like so you can't let us know like we didn't eat anything she said, i'm gonna have to ask the cook then she went now us thinking that the cook was the asian lady who brought us the food and this like, oh. friggin what list what list lady not, came out she didn't even have her wig on this lady came <laughs> she had on sandals no wig. she had on flip-flops i mean she had her hair in cane yeah roll. she had her hair in cane roll she had on a pouch she didn't, she didn't she even just, have on a she didn't even have on a cooking um what do you call it what do you call those apron apron she didn't even have on an she apron just look like she was just a bum off the street yeah she was like she came off the street yo you should see how the lady came out she was pissed she's like oh what's wrong with the food I always have to say, no offense, but I have to say a homeless person know better than that lady who owned that restaurant. So they say owned that restaurant. Yeah. What's wrong with the food? And then we're like, it's cold. <laughs> we're like, we don't want the food is cold. It. No, we're like, the food is. We didn't say we didn't want to pay for it at first. We're like, the food is cold. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, our food's cold. And then she's like, it's it's not cold. I took it right off of the the stove, mm-hmm. and I was I made all the food together. It's not cold. And then Lou's, Lou's friend was like. But they're telling you that it's cold. How are you gonna tell them that it's not yes. cold and they're the ones eating the, the food? food. Yeah, true. So we were like there, and it looks like the food. And another thing is that the food looked one way online on the website. It looked one way, and then in person, it didn't look the same. The presentation was completely different. So Lou mentioned that to Lady Two. She was like, "Oh, the food doesn't even look like how it looks on the internet or whatever." Yo, that lady started giving us action. I cut the food. It's not cold. To make things you worse, can't. she was yelling in because Lou was. Was like oh you know we um and she likes her food and she was pointing at her friend because her our friend was gonna pay her friend yeah pay for the food. she was like oh she likes her food she her. she liked it she's eating it she likes it or whatever she likes her food but our food is cold and, da, da, da. and, then, and she that's started when came out too and then she started yelling at first she started yelling in our loose friend's face like yelling in her face like get an attitude and then the man was standing like there he was standing he wasn't standing right beside her but he was standing and i could see him looking like he wanted to get involved and then Lusa said you know what let's just go like we're gonna go we're just gonna go somewhere else because the lady started getting and i was oh i cooked the food the food is it's not cold i cooked it so you're calling me a liar you're calling me a liar i took it off the burner i took it off the burner in her accent but and i was recording yeah she was, was recording, recording like everything. i want to put the i want to put the video in this in this video but i don't want to show their face like i don't want their and then face I'm, like that. so my 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 our, um, our sister's friend was, was she said i would she said i let my yeah friend, she said, i like my food she said i'm but i'm gonna, paid, for, but I'm gonna pay for my food was still get an attitude she wasn't listening to nobody she was listening she was talking over everybody saying she she we're gonna have to pay we're gonna have yeah. to pay the food pay and for that. what we didn't if you don't nothing. like the food why are we paying for it we didn't eat it the food was still on the table the food was still on the table she was standing guys. right there looking at the food on the table <laughs> the food was still on the table what we didn't have to pay for we didn't touch anything like what we, did we have to pay for just two one two three bites just see like we didn't even barely eat anything the food was still there the man yeah. came in and we thought the man was gonna be like like okay like let's try to settle this no oh, the man came in and started friends, yelling down the place uh, friends, uh, my, yeah my friends and then Lou's friend's face started yelling at her like oh you 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 like just yelling i don't even remember what the hell that little midget was saying uh, Lou's friend she was going to pay for her food and then they started getting in her face they started yelling at her like yelling at her like maybe because she was shorter they probably felt like she was she would be threatened but like no she's she's Ghanaian that girl don't care like so we just let we got up we were making our way like exiting the restaurant like why are you guys falling like Yo. And then he was like running, like we were going to the G spot because we wanted to eat low key, but they were following us out. And they were said, following us out of the, the yeah. They followed us out. They followed us out the restaurant. You don't do stuff like that. Like you have customers inside, and you guys are following people outside of your restaurant to to threaten them to pay for food that they didn't eat. Well, I'm like, yo, you could call the police. Like we did not eat your food. The food is on the table. Like. 
we didn't eat anything. What are we paying for? And he's like, oh, you guys are- It doesn't we matter know. if they he's, follow us, we're still in pain. So oh. see, and then he's like, oh, you guys are those, you guys, we, I know what kind of girls you guys are. You guys are those girls who eat free food, come for free food. What free food? <laughs> trash well no but there it. was no like what free food we didn't even eat the food that's the whole point of this like we didn't even eat if anything the food was free we still wouldn't have ate it because the food was trash let's put it that way okay he was just too full of his he said we came for free food that was that just got me that just there. shows you how trash the food was if the food was free we wouldn't have still ate it but so yeah we were like leaving and then they were trying to the man was trying to come in front of me to try to stop me from go like leaving i didn't eat your stuff so why are you following me i'm like you call the police like the food is on the table call the cops they'll see that the food is there what are we paying for and yo they were just as soon, following us as soon as that girl brought that wa gray water to the table to turn off like you look at your water the water trash the food trash I mean, I'll your food. attitude is trash uh -huh. oh no no another thing that lou said she's like your your food is cold your restaurant is cold <laughs> yo no sorry. like y'all need some damn heat she's like saying how in the restaurant on the walls there's marks on the wall that people put their feet on people were putting their feet on the wall oh my God. like, like they were walking on the wall it's like a kid's restaurant like you kids drawing on the walls right like yo they barely had any tables in there it's like just, it's yeah. ghetto yeah. it's so ghetto and then we went to go look at reviews everybody's hyping up the place like y'all family right y'all yeah y'all must be family because it that's that restaurant it has, ain't they it they have to be family that own of that restaurant <laughs> because what experience y'all have compared to what we like we <laughs> I felt like it was discrimination. Yeah. Even though we're all because, black. Seriously, because when we went there, the girl was like, oh, is this your first? Well, she didn't ask us if we were Nigerian. But I feel like with African people, like, not trying to be, you know. But with African people, I feel like they can tell when a lot of other people are African. Like, when they our, can just, I feel like they can tell. Uh -huh, but our, the funny thing about it, our, my our sister's, sister's friend is not African. Is, is, yeah, she's Ghanaian. But they didn't even know I think that the girl, but I think the girl who was serving us probably knows that me, you, and Lou we're not because she's like oh is this your because we when we we're looking at the menu we didn't really no, know what stuff there. was on the menu so she's probably oh they're not they're probably not african but but, I, but our I, sister's friend she knew she looked at the menu she knew what was on the I menu i feel like that like, was some big discrimination in that of course it was so then we left from the restaurant now and then she was gonna go into g-spot i'm like let's just pa walk past the g-spot so they don't freaking know where we're going because i feel like these people are gonna try to follow us or try to call the cops on us in the car <laughs> But anyway, so we just like walked past, we went, walked around the corner, we were talking over there for a little bit, and then we went into the G-spot, and then we ordered food, which was way better, way better, okay, way better. I should post, I should post my food from this place, and then my food from G-spot. The story though that's not in the story so when we were in the g-spot waiting for our food the same lady who owned that restaurant came into the g-spot yeah the lady who was cussing us out trying to cuss us out at the table came in with her wig on this time bitch, we had <laughs> right with her wig on this time so why don't you show play that to the table when you're trying to cuss us out what well, you want to yeah you don't show up you, yeah you don't show up to the table with your clients with your wig on <laughs> but you show you can backwards <laughs> I didn't even know the girl didn't have on a wig. I didn't even know when she came into the place she had on a wig. I didn't even know this. That's how much I was not trying to pay attention to that. I bitch. was like, she really wanted the smoke today. Yeah, she wanted smoke. She came in there and was talking to the lady that owned, that runs the G spot. I'm, I'm like looking over by her. I'm like, what's she telling that lady? <laughs> not spend my food. Like, I would. Don't try me today. I'm hungry. You ain't coming in here messing up this food. Mm -mm. We had to wait over 30 minutes over life. there. We came in here. We got to wait another 30 minutes. Do not play with us, lady. Okay? But yeah. <laughs> she was there talking like she was there like, oh, so when they gonna fight me? Right. I'm here. And then we're just looking at her like, like when she's gonna leave. So when she left, we were just like, we would just want our food. We need at least we gonna pay. At least we gonna pay for this food. Seriously. At least this food was good. Seriously. But we, did, we didn't even act like we saw her when she walked out. And we didn't act talk. like we saw her when she walked in. She really tried my life, though. How she came up in. I was like, that shit. And she just came right. up in there like with her wig on and looking all classy and trying to talk to the, like I was like, eh, right. I do your job. Seriously. Well, aren't you the cook? <laughs> <laughs> but burn down your own restaurant. Aren't you the cook? How you out here? How you who's running the restaurant? Who's cooking the food? We're leaving on the stove. Like somebody else watched that. Because I saw you were the cook. I'm leaving. I'm gonna go put on my wig and look good. Seriously. Because oh, bitch, ain't no way you cooking that shitty ass food. 
And if you are kicking that shitty ass food, you should be ashamed. She, but she should be happy that we're not one of those type of customers that, that bust her ass. Mm-hmm. Sorry. We, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and also, with just eat the food or something and leave, or either eat, not even eat the food, just not even pay for the food and leave. Or not even say, not even call her to tell her yeah, that, oh, we don't shitty. want, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's not like we were trying to be rude to her, we didn't say your food is shitty. We, we were like, it's cold, like the food is cold. Mm-hmm. And da, da, da. We could have been a whole ass asshole up in that restaurant and just left so the sweet. food there and just not paid. But all I have to say is those people need to be careful how they treat people that come into the restaurant because they're in Scarborough. You're not in no downtown. You're not in. You're in Scarborough, and they're, they look like they're in a ghetto ass area in Scarborough. You want to mess with people's food over there? People will cuss you out. Okay, that's Scarborough. She said the food is cold. Yeah, and then I she was, was like recording her. I was, uh-huh. I was getting mad with that lady. Like, just take the stupid. Even in restaurants, when you t- uh, uh, like, let's just say certain restaurants that you go to. If you tell them the food is cold, they'll take it. They'll take it. Or do you want something else on the menu too that you would like? They would give you other options. This lady was just she was trying to argue. Like she's the one who ate the food. Her yeah, she was trying to argue with us, telling us it's not cold. Like, did you? I'm like, Trauma, you, you want to eat it? Oh, and another thing, I asked her. I'm like, do you want to touch the food to see if it's cold or not? Because it's cold, bitch. And another thing is that the man came. She, the lady said. We are ordering things that are not on the menu. I was like, what? She the, the, what a the piece of life. She said the, that girl, the girl, the waiter told her we're ordering things that aren't on the menu. The, the waitress is the same one who gave us what was not on the menu. <laughs> She's the one who was, <laughs> Most of the stuff we were asking her that was on the menu. She, she said, said not there. <laughs> and, then, and then the lady said, we are ordering things that are not on the menu. And then the man had the nerve to say, um... I'm like, I'm like to the man, I'm like, the steamed vegetables is on the menu. I'm like, the barbecue um, chicken is on the menu. I'm like, it's not even barbecue chicken. This is barbecue wings. And then he's like, the barbecue chicken is not on the menu. I'm like, yes, it is. You want to see it? You want to see the menu for yourself? Like, do you guys not, you guys work here. <laughs> you guys don't, don't, you don't work here. You don't know what's on the menu. Like, you don't look at the menu? <laughs> just please tell me how you work here. You don't know what's on the menu. Just uh. get, just leave. <laughs> just leave. Let a ghost run this restaurant. Let me run the restaurant because I clearly know what's on the menu more than you. A two year old will probably run that restaurant better than people then because. I mean, I know. Like, how you have this on the menu? You don't know what's on the menu. You say you don't have that on the menu. We not have that. We not have that. I told her now. I told her now. And Lou and and Lou's friend. I'm like, this is coming like a Jamaican restaurant. They don't have nothing you ask for on here. You have, you have, you have gray water. Yeah. Gray what, what you, you water. Gray water, cold restaurant, cold food, and a shitty ass freaking cook. That's what y'all have. And a shitty ass owner of the restaurant. <laughs> and her shitty ass husband. <laughs> 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 Uh, well, it was anyways. so frustrated it was bad that shit was I felt, I felt so bad for our sister's friend i was like damn this is bad yeah. for her birthday especially it was like, yeah mm-hmm. she was just, pissed you also need to do better it's just like you need to do better dog like shit especially for Ona just coming out there when she wig off like somebody already snatched off her wig we didn't even have to do that <laughs> shit <laughs> sure she probably got it snatched off by her previous customers shit <laughs> oh, that's a video though that's a video but yeah no. yeah it's just that night i don't know and that was a mess. It's sky, bro. Don't go there. Don't waste your time. People are unprofessional. Yeah. So that's but, experience. Yeah, but thanks for watching, you guys. Make sure that you guys like. Make sure that you guys comment. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And if you've been to this restaurant, don't. Well, well, if you've been there and you like it, then that's on you. But um, don't go there. If you've never been there, if you've never been there, don't go there. Mm-hmm. And if you you want to waste your time and go, there. waste your money, waste your time, waste your <laughs> just, then and, um, and freeze to death. Don't just go. just remember that we told you it's cold, it's trash, and it's trash. Yeah. <laughs> the only good thing about it is close to G spot. Yeah. So. Go to the G spot instead. So see. Okay. But yeah, thank you for watching guys and make sure you guys follow us on Instagram. Lewis Girls18. But thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.